What's up everyone? Welcome to this product review. Today we're going to be talking about the hit axle. Yeah, I like this thing. It's a very cool piece. I've owned the hit axle for probably a year and a half now, maybe a little bit longer, actually closer to two years. So this piece I've gotten a real fair stick at. I mean, I've used this thing for a very long time, so I'm pretty comfortable with this review. I know the ins and outs about it. I know what it does. I know what it's capable of, and I know that it's quality. It's stood the test of time, like I said. I've owned this thing for about two years, so it's a great piece. So let's get into the details about it, the things I like about it, and the things I don't. So let's start off with pricing. Any of you who follow our page, you know that we go based on pricing, quality, usage, footprint, and customer service. Those are our categories. That's what we look at when we do any sort of a new product, and that's where we're gonna start. We're gonna start with pricing. The head axle, which when you purchase, comes with the axle itself, the stand, which has the wheels, and then this, the foot pedal, which your feet can go in, to do the endurance variation on this, and a little bit more about that later on. That's gonna cost you $1,000. That's a haircut. There's no two ways about it. This is a overpriced piece of equipment. In my opinion, this thing in the market is worth perhaps six at most. But that being said, they made their own market. This is the only one of its kind that does this kind of a thing. I have never found another head axle lookalike as long as I've been in the market. So. That is what it is, it is $1,000, but I'm gonna give that a 4.2. That's quite a ding, 4.2, again, this is an expensive piece of equipment. More on that later, but let's get to the reasons why. The quality. Now the quality of this thing is outstanding, and that is the big redemption piece when it comes to a score like a pricing score of 4.2. You've gotta have a high quality piece. If you have a high price and the quality itself I have a problem with, if it broke, if it didn't hold up to my standards, you're gonna have a really bad review. That's not what happened here. The quality of this thing has stood the test of time. Like I said, I've had this for almost two years. It's never broke down. I've never had an issue with its functionality. It's very well made, very strong, very stable. And for what it does, which essentially I probably should have led into in the beginning, you basically ride this thing with your arms and your upper body in a plank position. This will spin. You will do this on intervals, you will do this for speed, or you will do it for endurance. Endurance, I would use typically the foot pedal. I would remove the axle from the track and I would go out to an area like my turf and go for distance as opposed to speed. So those are the two primary ways that I use this, but it's a core exercise. It's a full, it really is a full body exercise. You've got the contraction of the quads, the core, the shoulders, the arms, the dynamic movement of the shoulders and arms. It's just a whole lot of things happening when you use this. Like I said, quality very good. It stood up to the test of time, 7.9. 7.9 is the quality score for the head axle. Let's go to category three, usage. Now, there are two primary ways that I use the head axle. Feet on the pedal, outside for endurance, axle on the track, feet on the ground for speed or for power. That being said, this apparatus really only does like one or two things. It is a very, very precise, very good and well-oiled machine for this upper body movement, but it's, that's it. It's not a, this is not a versatile machine. It's not a, a functional trainer that can do a bunch of different stuff. This can do two things really well making it not really that versatile of a piece of equipment. By our standards, this needs to get some sort of a ding for its usage score. I'm gonna give it a 5.9. Now that's fair. I think it's a fair assessment to say that this thing, it's not gonna be your most versatile piece of equipment, but that does not mean that it's not quality. Number four, category four for this is footprint. This one I am a little bit torn about. It's kind of in between. It's not a small piece, nor is it an enormous piece. It can be leaned against the wall, but as you can see from this, if this leans against the wall, you're still gonna know this is here. Like this and that and that all need to have a really specific spot in your gym. It's not something that can really be hidden all that well. So it's good, but not great. I'm gonna give it a 5.9, that's kind of a, in the middle score for the actual footprint. Excuse me, let's uh, 6.0. 6.0 for the footprint. That's the score I'm gonna give this. 6.0 for the footprint. Let's go to the last one, customer service. This is by far the part about this review I was most excited about. This company is incredible. Hit Axle, I have had probably in two years, and again, this review, this particular one, 
has the backdrop of two years worth of experience. Typically these days, we don't get that. Typically I get a piece of equipment and 30 days later I do a review. This one's different. I've had so many questions and concerns and collaborations and all this different stuff that I've done with Hit Axle over the last two years that I have a firm understanding on their company, how they operate, how they work, and they are great. If you guys have questions, concerns, if you wanna call them up and yell at them about the fact that it's $1,000, you're gonna get somebody. They're a great company. They stand by their products, and to them, this thing is more than fairly priced. They'll have a whole list of reasons why. I love the way they treat their customer base and I love the fact that they show a lot of different movement patterns on their Instagram. That's where everyone goes these days to find out about your product. Companies take notes. If you aren't doing Instagram properly, your company will suffer. So for the customer service, we're gonna give this a 9.2. 9.2, shoot that score right back up. All in all, this is, a pretty, this is a great product. I like it. Yes, it's not the most versatile and yes, you're gonna get a haircut if you buy it but it's a good piece. I enjoy it, my clients hate it because it's really hard, and I enjoy watching them fail on it. So I'm gonna give this a 6.64, 6.64, that's the review for the Hit Axle. Again, thank you so much, Hit Axle, for you know, getting this to us and allowing us to just keep using it over the last two years. It really has added and amplified my upper body high intensity interval training. If I wanna switch things up on a conditioning day, I'll throw my clients on the hit axle. It really is just that simple. There's nothing else like it. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys have questions, comments, concerns, please let me know in the descriptions below. As always, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you guys can see all our stuff pop up. Have a good one.